Hi! I've never done unboxing videos before because I generally think that they're ridiculous. However, today I got this in the mail. This is something that I ordered on January 17th, so it's been exactly 10 months uh, from Pledge Music, and we're very excited about it. My son's even excited. He's a pretty big fan. He really likes sports songs. Don't you, Mal? So, we got it today, and it's packed in this. It's pretty important. It does say this side up, so I don't want to turn it upside down. Okay, I'm going to have to get some weight in here. Ah, my goodness. This is boxed really well. This thing is huge! This is ridiculous. Okay. There's that. What is that? What is that? We'll have to see. Oh my gosh. Okay. I've seen pictures of this, but I did not realize how huge it was going to be. This is a replica of Weird Al's accordion. And it's really big. Oh. There's the... This is a collection of all of the CDs that Weird Al has ever made. Um, and there's a bonus CD of rarities. Now, I don't know if this is just, if they're going to look like they looked, or they look like they're, it's the size if it were an album, but then it just has this. So it is the same design as the original, which is pretty cool. Um, also included in here is, let's find it, there's a book that has some pictures and archival stuff. This is Medium Rarities, and it has songs that have been either not recorded or difficult to find, like the extra gory version of The Night Santa Went Crazy, um, instrumental Dare to be Stupid, so now I can sing this at karaoke. Um, let's see, the capital single version of My Bologna, Headline news. Oh, since you've been gone, karaoke, actually. That's pretty cool. So, okay. Let's do this. There's Weird Al. This is the um, album that my 16-year-old loved. Loved uh, Ricky. This is Weird Al Young and Making 3D, which is the first album that I ever had. This is Dare to be Stupid, which is probably my favorite album. And then we did, let's see. Oh, I know what comes next. UHF soundtrack. Then, oh, I skipped this one, which is Polka Party, which is a one that he didn't really want to put out, but his uh, label made him. Off the Deep End, that's a, obviously a parody of Nirvana's Smells Like Teen Spirit album, then Alapalooza, which is probably my least favorite album, but it's got some good ones on there. Um, Bad Hair Day, Running With Scissors, which, let's see, Poor Scope for Today, I love that one. I'm trying to see this one, Poodle Hat, was um, when my 16-year-old was little, was seeing Hardware Store all the time, that was fun. And Straight Outta Linwood, Apocalypse, which is probably my modern least favorite. I, I don't like it as little as Jurassic Park, um, but I don't love it. And then Mandatory Fun, which is Mal's favorite because Sports Song is on this one. Do you see that one? Yes. Do you like it? Is it so big? Yes. Yeah, is that exciting? <laughs> oh, and so, oh my goodness. So the book is actually, okay, so now, see, we can play this if you wanted, not really, but oh my gosh, it's huge. And then I guess it makes sense that they're making the same size for the records or the CDs so they wouldn't have to do a whole lot, but um, this guy, this book is in the back and it has pictures um, from shoots and different things and uh, I'm sure a lot of this is from Bermuda Schwartz's collection because he has a like everything. Here's Weird Al dressed up as Spongebob with a choo-choo. In case you never got to see that live, that's fun. Um, so, that's the full package. That's all.
It's been waiting almost a year. I can't wait to start listening to it. You want to see it? You want to play it? Okay. It's just pretend, but you can play it. So we're pretty jazzed. We're ready to put some CDs in and listen to a bunch of music.